You're watching Sports Force Extra on KTIV. Welcome back, folks. Before we hop over into Nebraska, we have one more game to look at here in Sioux City, so I'll let Jason take it since he's the Iowa guy. Yeah, I'm the Iowa guy. So Bishop and Crusaders, they've been on a roll. They're taking on Lamar's in this matchup, but tell you what, don't count the Bulldogs out. Down 16, and Brooklyn Stanley tips the ball away to Matty Demke. She'll chuck it up court, but the shot's blocked by Jalen Marinow. Crusaders get the ball back, though. Pass to Melina Snoozy. She'll jab, drive for the quick jumper, and Heelan's up by five. Later on, Crusaders passing around the arc. They get it down to the paint to Abby Lee, and Abby Lee works the double team in the post, rattling the rim for two. However, time running out. Bulldogs able to string some things together. Zoe Whitcop drives into the paint. Clearing it up top for Sarah Brown from behind the arc. She'll hit in Lamar's. They'll get the upset, winning 50 to 46. Same teams, but boys turn now and getting to a quick start here. Wan Dang Hosiang gets the lob pass in the corner. He'll take and make his way into the paint dish down to Ethan Utesh for two. Crusaders up by three, though. Sean Schaefer with it. He'll make the cross court pass to Case and Thomas. Thomas drives into the paint. He'll lay the ball up off the glass in for two later on. Carter Baumgartner gives the ball to Drew Gallus. He'll back him down low and turn around into the jumper. As the game continues, here's Quinn Olsen with the quick hands, tips the ball. He'll take the steal wide open lane, and Quinn Olsen with a slam. I'm not sure if we've seen one from Olsen this season. boy, Crusaders win a close one, 60-57. Irvin. And as promised, we go over to Nebraska. Bancroft, Rosalie hosting Winnebago on the hardwood. Bago getting it rolling first with a mid-range pull-up from Rockman. Free bass right here. Well, here come the Panthers of Bancroft, Rosalie. KJ Blackhawk says, I'm comfortable shooting from Caitlin Clark range, folks. He buries the three ball. Woo! And now it's the Panthers again on the tackle. You're going to see that cute little fan with the Sports Force Extra football right there. It's going to be Drake Porter deciding to drive in, pull it himself. He knocks his shot down from mid-range. And now we're going to keep it rolling as the Panthers. Check out this board. But check out, he makes the defender touch earth. That is Blackhawk right there. Woo! Finishing the play, burying the shot. And Bancroft, Rosalie, goes on to win 67 to 60. Over in girls' action now, we're staying with Dami Harlan. She's gonna find Charlie's Frenchman, who somehow keeps the ball and buries the triple for the Indians. But again, just like the boys' game, here come the Panthers. A nice feed inside from Bailey Murphy to Carries Morris leads to an open lane for the Bancroft, Rosalie Panthers. Again, they're working, and it ends up in Morris's hands as she gets another finish inside, but Bago is not going away. Again, it's gonna be Frenchman hitting another three ball from the same spot she did earlier, but Bancroft Rosalie goes on to win 62 to 53. I'll take this one. Walt Hill and Winside battling in some boys action here. Look at this, the spotlight really bringing out all the show in here. Hugo Parker dish to Kishan Kaihu who lets it fly from downtown. That'll cash in for the Blue Jays. This time, here's Ethan Parker who slings it over to Kaihu. And again, he'll let it fly from the same spot on the floor, banging home the triple. This time, I, I really hope I'm saying this kid's name correct. <laughs> Kai who on the Love defensive end gets the steal. That leads to an easy layup on the other end. Walt Hill is soaring over the Wildcats for good measure. Hugo Parker, he'll send that triple home. And the Walt Hill Blue Jays, they'll cruise on to a comfortable victory. Walt Hill hosting Windside. Check out the cheerleaders slinging those Sports Force Extra basketballs. Nice arm there. Starting girls action, Blue Jays get it rolling first. A little mid-range jumper from Tylee Miller. That would start a huge run for Walt Hill. Abby Phillips intercepts the pass, and Phillips goes coast to coast for the lay-in, and Walt Hill is cruising. Phillips decided to turn into prime Darrell Reeves, taking to the island with the interceptions tonight. Again, off to the races. Again, she finishes. No final for this one yet. Hopefully we'll have that one for you by the end of the show. Irvin, what do you got for us next? Yeah, Walt Hill did end up winning that, but Homer, they're hosting Kingsley Pearson in girls basketball. The Panthers, they get on the board first with a three ball from the corner, courtesy of Addie Foster. Next up, it's gonna be a missed shot this time from KPRV. But the board, it falls right to Addie Long, and she bangs low in the post and drops uh, that one in. Bringing justice to the court oh, right big there. big time. And then, well, here come the Knights. They get an answer from a sweet move and finish from Alexander Albright right there. But the Panthers pounce back on the offensive end. 
as it's Law once again, slamming that gavel down and finishing that one at the hole. KPRV comes up with a 63 to 38 victory. Now Homer and Sue land Christian tangling in boys action, Eagles trailing in the fourth, but they get a fast break lay-in from Jackson Stansberry right here, just to eat into that deficit a little bit. Now a little later on, it's gonna be Jeremiah Lineman who gets an banked in three ball, just a desperation heave right there, but it goes. And now the Knights, well, they still have the lead and this steal and coast to coast lay in right there. will finish it off from Janai's snowball as Homer goes on to win that one. Hey, we also also had some action at the college level tonight as the Nebraska Huskers found themselves in conference play taking on Ohio State. Tell you what, Irvin, you're a big Husker guy. You take this one. Absolutely. The students are back and bring the noise inside Pinnacle Bank Arena. Bunks, Buckeyes go inside to Zed Key. Ohio State builds a nine point lead in the first half. The Big Red chirps away. Keisei Tomonaga steps around the defender. Keisei splashes a three. I mean, what? I mean, he's just, he's you, like you just gotta the male that Caitlin point. Clark in, in men's college basketball. Next trip down the floor, Rink Moss is left open. He's nothing but net, and Nebraska is within one. Then Moss, he gets off, gets hot off the bounce here. The big fella hits again from deep. Nebraska goes on a late run, and they win 83 to 69. All right, keep it going down in Omaha. The Blue Jays hosting Xavier. We'll pick up second half here. Xavier with it. They inbound. This shot's off, but Gaitis Namaksa, sure, he gets the rebound. He'll put it back for in for the Musketeers. Later on, Creighton inbounding. They find Stephen Ashworth, who'll step back, buries the triple from the wing here. That'll tie things up. Two minutes left in the game. Baylor Shireman with it. Shireman, he'll step back. And yeah, you already know that's good. Blue Jays, they get a big conference win, 85 to 78. Hey, now Irvin, time for both our favorite parts of the day. Fan Force, let's get right into these photos real quick. Let's pull those up. First off, shout out to Brindley Motts for sending this photo in. Remember, if you want to be up here, send those photos in to connect at KTIV.com. Let's get a look at our next one here, Irvin. This is at KPRV versus Homer. Then fans from KPRV just enjoying the ball and enjoying a great win. Yeah, again, and there's the KPRV cheerleaders as well. Again, if you want to be like all these cool people and show up on the KTIV Sports Force Extra, let's go ahead, get that Sports Force Extra basketball, send your picture in to connect at KTIV.com. We're the Homer Night Cheerleaders, and Sports Force Extra will be right back. Woo! 